Hey, what's going on everyone? Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today, guys, we're going to do some highway healing. This is more like morning inspiration. Um, it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to hear the message in the morning, but it is geared towards the start of your day. Now, if the start of your day is at 7 p.m., then that's when the message will resonate with you. If the start of your day is at 6 a.m., that's when the message will resonate with you. We're going to get some healing messages. We're going to have some encouragement. And this is whatever comes up, comes up. This message can apply in many ways. It could be life, love, career, and all of that stuff in between. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some messages and see what God has to say to my collective today. Something just flipped over. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. So I feel like this card is saying, spend more time alone, learning yourself, learning how to balance your inner being, learning how to balance um, both sides of you. This is, looks like a Pisces card with these two fishes. So learning how to balance both sides of the spectrum. Your spiritual side and your practical side. And I also feel like I keep hearing um, need more time um, to talk to God. Like take more time out to talk to God. And your practical side, once you balance both, your practical side will allow you the space and the time. So you need to figure out how to balance God in your life. I know that sounds bad. But it's true. Sometimes we forget to balance in our spiritual needs versus our practical needs. Because our practical needs, we sometimes put those ahead of our spiritual needs. Because we feel like they're, the practical side is more tangible. Like we can see the money. We know we got to go to work. We know we have to take care of the children. We know we have to... Um, cook dinner so we got to go to the store we got to do this we got to do that it's just saying balance your spiritual and your practical side like even if you're at the store and i just got a a vision of someone being at the store sitting in a parking lot you know how you sit in the parking lot at the store at the grocery store at the um gas station or whatever when you get off work or you are on your way to pick up your children how you have that um 10 five or ten minutes in between time and you're waiting on them to come out the building it's saying take that time to just pray or do some meditation or just say just simply say thank you to god really just simply say thank you and that is you acknowledging and putting god first in some area of your life at some point of your life it could be in the afternoon it could be way in the morning or you could just take the time when you first get out of bed and just say thank you for another day very simple things you can implement to balance your spiritual and practical side together and it says now this is giving me once you do that it's like prosperity lies ahead because now you've found your balance in life now you're able to press forward and move forward and god's going to give you blessings but this seems like the moon card to me it's the new moon in taurus so it seems like those blessings you don't know that they lie ahead of you because and i keep hearing because you haven't done the work yet you haven't put in the time with god yet once you start to put in that time and this is just not for you this is healing for me too and it's also a, a friendly reminder once you start to put in that time with god and you start to make god a priority or your spirituality a priority then your prosperity will come to light okay I like it, Collective. What do you think? I think it's a good message that prosperity lies ahead once you find your balance in your everyday life versus your spiritual life. That's basically what it's saying. Find your balance in your everyday life versus your spiritual life as well. And it's kind of giving me combine the two. You don't have to separate it all the time. You can bring God into anything. Okay. 
let's get some healing messages Ooh, I feel like this is a I, I see happiness and I see greatness once you learn how to balance we have read a book have patience with yourself okay and journal your feelings daily so this is self-care this read a book is self-care this could be read anything since we're talking about spiritual connections this could be read your bible this could be um read something that that um what i want to say like that uplifts the mind like stay off of social media for 30 minutes okay i know that's hard but stay off of social media for 30 minutes a day or maybe if that's too hard for you, try 5, try 10, try 15. You know, whatever you can do. Stay off of that and introduce things into your mind that will uplift you. Like read a self-care book. Read a life purpose book. Um, start to pour um, good information into your brain that's going to help you get to the next level in life. Because prosperity lies ahead once you start to do things that will bring that will bring um what's the word i'm looking for once you start to do things that will bring in self-awareness that will give you some clarity of your purpose of the reason why you're here this is the time for you to definitely go into and i keep hearing beast mode i don't know why i hear that but i do i keep hearing go into beast mode and take that time to um take them 10 minutes just to pour into your own life versus always trying to be practical and logical and make money and keep moving around and doing things it's time for you to to be still because you have have patience okay and it says but the holy spirit produces this kind of few fruit in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control there is no law against these things galatians 5 22 to 23 so having patience is going to bring you all those characteristics that i just said which is going to pour prosperity into your life as you go along this journey of pouring this prosperity into your life and having patience with yourself and working on your spirituality and balancing out your more practical side to make more time for your spiritual side to have more time with god journal your feelings daily as you grow to calculate your growth that's what the cards say journal your feelings daily to calculate your growth to see how far you come let's say one week from now two weeks from now even a month and i keep saying two and three so it's saying each month go back and read and see how far you have come along in this spiritual journey and see how much prosperity or abundance you have gained from this now abundance comes in many forms it's not just money and it could be wealth in your family it could be your children doing well it could be someone that was sick was healed that was really close to you it could be your own personal gift that God gives you that enhances you to be a better person to get a better job to get something um, off the ground if you're an entrepreneur to it could encourage you to pursue something that you were afraid to pursue um, Definitely, I see entrepreneurship here. Definitely, I see someone being healed from a sickness when they give their time to God. I see someone gaining patience with their children, too. I feel like there is a family dynamic here that needs some healing. And I feel like as the head of the household, whether it be mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, whoever is the head of the household with this family dynamic, as you become more patient and give over some of your time, and some of your burdens to God uh, with your spiritual side. This is going to balance out that family dynamic and bring prosperity into your lives. As we say family dynamic, look at what's at the bottom. Get a babysitter. A long time is necessary. So yes, you might have to go off by yourself. Like I said, even if it's just 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes, you might have to go off by yourself 
and just go into your hermit hermit mode and do some introspection to help you um, figure out what you need to do next. What's your next step in this journey we call life? <clears throat> I feel like your next step is becoming more spiritual, giving God more of your time. Becoming more spiritual, giving God more of your time. This is your morning inspiration. I feel like this the spiritual side of you needs more care and more love than the practical side. Okay, let's get a surrender card and see how this applies to your surrendering to your spiritual side. <clears throat> what do you need to surrender to in, in order to help you to move forward? What do we have here for my collective? Holy Spirit, what do we have? We have surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout. Slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So this comes with having patience. Sometimes you just need to stop. Just stop and just chill. All of this energy that I'm feeling right now it's peaceful energy. It's chilling out energy. It's getting you some rest. Stop the worry. Stop the care. Because what you don't realize, you're selling yourself short. You're selling yourself short because you are powerful. You are great. So surrender to rest and sleep. Don't worry about it. Give it over to God. And that's really, really a powerful thing to do when you let go of control. Let go of control and let God bring you to prosperity. Allow those good things to come to you like the Ace of Pentacles. Allow those good things to come into your life. And at the bottom, you have surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Express your needs. Don't overexert yourself. Don't allow people to use and abuse you or take control of you because you are nice. Saying no is okay. I don't care if it's your mama, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your children. Sometimes you have to say no. I feel like the people that I'm speaking to right now is having an energy of not being able to know when to stop. Know when to stop giving so much. That's why it's time for you to focus on yourself. Focus on your spiritual side. Allow God to speak to you and to help you and build your strength when it comes to others. That's why it's time for you to rest because you have put your work in. You have done your work. And it's okay to say no. <clears throat> Surrender to setting limits. I like the way that sounds. Have healthy boundaries in your relationships. That's why it says no is a complete sentence. If it does, if, it, if you can't fit it in, like we always say, if it don't apply, let it fly. That's the same thing with life. If it don't fit, let it go. Because the more you try to hold on to something that doesn't fit within your life, the more it's going to be harmful to you. The more it's going to be harmful to you. Prosperity lies ahead. And you know what's so great about this reading in itself, this, this person or people that I, I am speaking to collective, is that all you have to do is rest. Rest and sleep. Surrender to setting limits. Yeah, rest, rest, absolutely. Surrender to setting limits, which means you have to do the work. You have to know what works for you and what doesn't work for you in a connection with anybody, with love, with your family, with career, with life. And these are giving you the steps on how to do that. Read a good book. Read a self-care, self self-care, self-help book. Read the Bible. Put something into you that makes you feel good, that's going to give you some form of substance. Have patience with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. All of these things that you are going to implement into your life is not going to happen overnight. Okay, so that's why it's saying journal your journey. 
in life. Journal your feelings daily so you can look back and say, yeah, I did the damn thing. I came from this to that, and now I'm on my way to that. Go ahead and set your goals and set your plan, okay? <clears throat> Let's get an angel message here for my collective. What's the angel message? What do they need to hear? <clears throat> Told me to go here fire guardian ignite your passions and this is all this this is this reading is definitely about taking care of yourself stop taking care of everybody else but yourself feed you stop taking care of everybody but yourself and we have peacekeeper let go of the need to be right so this is right under surrender to setting limits so don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about um, if this is going to work, if this is not going to work. If you, listen, if you pay the cost to be the boss and you make the decision and things go well, things don't go well, guess what? It's not the end of the world. You have to get back up and try again. Because the longer you stay down, the more prosperity you lose, the more abundance you lose. So as you could go through your journey, and you continue to have patience with yourself. That's why you have this here. Have patience. And that's with yourself. Because everything that you do. And I keep seeing career. I keep hearing entrepreneurship. Or someone that's going into a new field of work. Or a new job that they never had. Or they're taking on more responsibility in the family. Or in their life. Or in love. Every decision that you make is not going to be. I keep hearing A-OK. -okay, or 100%. 100 grand. What you're going to have to do is definitely take the good with the bad but also get up and keep going because the more you do it the better you'll be at it okay this is awesome i'm just going to pull a few of these a few of these light-hearted messages to get you started on your way and to see how these apply to the reader we have some good shit is about to happen. I know that's right. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So get out your head. Allow the good things to come to you. I just said that. I just said it's just like the Ace of Pentacles. Allow all the good stuff to come to you. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. And I think it meant to say go after that shit, but you get it. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. I just said for my entrepreneurs, go ahead and go after it. Everything is not going to be 100% all the time. You take the good with you, bet the bad, and you learn your lessons. You pick yourself up, and you keep going. And we have take a shot. This is, this is your celebration. Don't take 12, take one, or maybe two, and move on. So whatever is holding you back or whatever you feel is not going right or you feel like you made a mistake, hey, look, dust that off your shoulders, baby. We all make mistakes. Who cares? Because if you care, if you're caring about what somebody else cares or think about you, you in the, you living in the wrong way. You got to change your mindset, change your perception. Like I said, take a shot and move on. Guess what? Tomorrow is another day or the next minute is another opportunity for you to start over and be better. Have patience because you're going to have to start over in this journey as you become, as you get closer and closer to God because you're going to have more and more tests. But that's okay. You know why? Because you got prosperity. Prosperity is what's going to take you through and going to be your reward for all your work that you've done. This is self-care time. Focus on yourself to move you to the next level so that you can be of service to others. Not until you get yourself right to you to be, will you be able to focus on other people? And that means your family, your friends, your children, co-workers whatever your own business everything requires you to heal first then to move forward okay so this has been your highway healing message hopefully this gave you some encouragement some insight and a peace of mind to carry you through the rest of your day thank you for tuning in and listening and until next time let intuition be your guide